Hello fans Boston Celtics, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Celtics first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. When the Celtics' original three-team deal for Kristaps Porzingis fell through, it was because the Clippers reportedly had some reservations about Malcolm Brogdon's injury status. Brogdon suffered a forearm injury during the playoffs, and there were still some lingering questions about his status. So, instead, the Celtics switched course, sending Marcus Smart to the Grizzlies as part of a different three-team trade with the Wizards. There were some concerns the Celtics wouldn't be able to trade Brogdon this summer at all because of his injury, limiting their options in the trade market. Turns out, the Clippers are still interested in landing Brogdon. The guard needy Los Angeles team re-engaged the C's about acquiring Brogdon in recent days, according to Yahoo Sports' Jake Fisher. It'll be interesting to watch how Brogdon's market unfolds in the coming weeks if the Celtics are looking to move him. He signed for two years and $45 million, and the Celtics also need some guard depth now that Smart is gone. But the C's could elect to go multiple different directions this offseason as Boston President Brad Stevens has shown he's willing to make some tough decisions. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Celtics Thanks. Continuing. How the Clippers factor into the trade market will also be intriguing to watch in the coming days. The Clippers have long sought after a point guard, Brogdon appeared to be that fit. However, the Clippers are also reportedly trying to land the 76ers James Harden who hit the trade market Thursday after opting his $35.6 million salary next season. Depending on what happens on the Harden front, the Clippers could inquire about Brogdon again if they can't land the Sixers star. Free agency opens at 6 p.m. Friday around the league, meaning teams can agree to deals with free agents. There will be plenty of storylines worth following, and the Celtics will also likely be in the mix in the trade market. The C's improved after acquiring poor Zingis, but there are still areas of the roster they can bolster in the coming days and weeks. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Celtics I update you at any time with the latest news from Celtics. Help the channel become a member.